final game for you, Jeff, will be at Wembley. Uh, could be the perfect goodbye. Well, I'm hoping it's a third time lucky for me. I've, I was injured at the one at Fleetwood. Obviously, last year it didn't go as to plan, so hopefully it's a fairy tale. Back-to-back uh, -back Wembley appearances. Was that the type of thing you expected when you signed for a club like Tramia? T to be perfectly honest, I thought we would have went up straight away. Um, obviously, that was our own fault, as we didn't. But, like you say, we've got a chance now Saturday to put that right and look back my last couple of years here as a, as a positive. Uh, has it been an exciting week? I know you went through this last week and you're a model professional now, but is it, does it still get you excited? Yeah, I'm actually a little bit sad now because it's dawned on me it's going to be my last game here, you know. Um, I was actually more nervous last week, uh, when, when, again, when you realise it's all or nothing, so I'm really trying to look forward to this and trying to take it all in. Now, uh, talk us through Saturday, uh, because Trammy have got this knack before you came, and I'm sure it'll be long after you've gone, they've got this knack of putting the fans through the, the run of the mill, and it was a bit of a roller coaster on Saturday again. Again, we, we, we shoot ourselves in the foot, don't we, and then... We, uh, we do well to turn it around and then we shoot ourselves in the foot again. But, uh, no, I think our, our quality has shone through. And I watched the game back myself and we deserved it. Was there an element of pressure, do you think, on the shoulder of the players? Because on paper, you look at the draw, a one-off home game against Ebbs Fleet to get to Wembley, you'd take that all day. But does that added pressure then, though, if everyone expects you to win? Yes and no. I mean, when you get 8,000 fans behind you, and, you, know, you, you want to impress, you want to play well. But the most important thing is we won and took a bit longer than we hoped but we got it done and uh, ever improving side in Boreham Wood await you in the final what do you know and expect from them well uh, I know the uh, was it 2-1 at ours and 2-2 two -two at theirs um, but I didn't I didn't play it there so it's it's quite uh, fresh for me to, I don't I don't really know a lot about them so hopefully I can just concentrate on doing what we do and hopefully that'll be enough and uh, Saturday will be your most memorable performance in a Rovers shirt but aside from that do you have uh, some more great memories to take back with you yeah, I've, got, I've kept all, all, all of the memorabilia and stuff and uh, I, I try to do it at every club I was at and you get a bit older, you realise that uh, it's not going to go on forever and it's important, I think, that you, you, you try to enjoy it and try to try to make good memories. Uh, now, there will be a little army, a little white army uh, behind you that have been behind you for well, certainly the last three years anyway. Is there a message for them guys on the way down there on Saturday? Just keep supporting us the way you have been. Uh, I mean, Saturday even when uh, we went one down and two one down, just the fans were great and, it, it, you know, I know it's... A bit of a cliche, everybody says it, but they do they do give you that le little extra 10%, so the fans can really help and uh, get behind us and support us. It's been a pleasure to work with you, Jeff. All the best. Thank you very much.